Morning, weasel. That's a good weasel schnout. So that's a good weasel schnout. Yeah, very good. Very nice. Perfectly well, perfectly formed. Look at this. There can only be one weasel. And <laughs> he's you. Good morning. From the days of weasel and from me. We are in Athens, Tennessee. We just went for our walk. We just did our pre-trip. We're all set and ready to rock and roll. So I figured I'd bring you guys aboard. Hop on in, buckle up. It's gonna be a crazy wild ride. We're going from Tennessee all the way up to Ontario, Canada today. I don't know if I'll quite make it across the border today yet. I can push myself to do it, but I don't have to. So we'll see how motivated I feel towards the end of my day. We're still about 10 hours away from the border, so that's quite a bit of road to travel. We'll, we'll see. Maybe I'll feel good. Sometimes I feel like driving more, sometimes I don't. Here we go. We started rolling. Continue on this road for 63 kilometers. We're now rolling. We now we got to start rocking. Rock out right, Diesel. Get some tunes on right away. Interstate 75 northbound, Tennessee. Still very humid. Summers down here seem to be very humid all the time in the American South. Very, very humid. You can like drink the air. It just sticks to you everywhere you go. Still better than snow. Looks like I'm going to be using my wipers, so just make sure that our headlights are on. Should always be on anyway, just so that people can see you, just in case. You know people don't pay attention on the road, so the more things you got on, the more stuff to let them notice you, the better. Just not your high beams at night, how about let's just stick to that. No high beams at night, alright? I don't like that. Apparently my accent sounds a little Irish. 
Irish? I don't think the Irish would claim me, but uh, what do you guys think? Like To anyone from Canada, they, they'll know I have a prairie accent, I'm pretty sure. And a little bit of Menno mixed in there because I'm from the southeast of Manitoba. Well, apparently I sound Irish. I, I don't think so, but... Hey, nothing wrong with that. I like the Irish. We want to go and visit Ireland as soon as the world opens back up in November. It's going to be nice. We're not going to be able to go there right away, but it'll be nice to know that the borders are open again. We can actually do things and go places. Britt and I have been planning a, a trip out there to the UK and to Ireland for a while. We just uh, were waiting for the stars to align and mostly for the bank to agree with us that it's a good idea. That's the hardest one to convince. It's not cheap going out there. But we will get there eventually. We will. Looks like we've got some weather ahead of us, doesn't it? Uh-oh. We're just rolling into the great city of Cincinnati. I forget what it's called on the Kentucky side here again. We said it last time, right? Once we cross the bridge, we're in Cincinnati, Ohio. First, we gotta get to the bridge, and it seems like traffic doesn't wanna go to Ohio. They wanna stop here. That's a big, scary cloud ahead. Everybody slow down. Watch out for the cloud. One thing I've noticed, when it starts to rain, everybody slows down, which is good, right? You shouldn't slow down in bad weather. But it's not raining yet, guys. Yeah, it's not raining yet. There's always a beautiful view of downtown Cincinnati when you come around this corner and go down the hill. It looks like it's raining, like right, right on the other side of the river, just into Ohio. It's like the rain stops at the state line. It's a pretty good trick. Covington, that's where it is. Covington, Kentucky. Hey, Covington, isn't this where that Catholic school is where those kids were from that got completely smeared by the media? Covington Catholic? You know, they sued the media and won, right, for defamation? Good for them. Good for them. All they did was stand there. They got completely, like, destroyed in the media. There's Cincinnati in front of us. Beautiful view coming down the hill here. I bet you there's some really expensive residential properties in these hills on either side, overlooking the city. That'd be amazing. I've got to be in the left lane or one of the left lanes. I don't know if I've got to be all the way on the left. We want to go towards Dayton. Arrow says that lane or this lane. Okay. All right. I'm trusting you, sign. I'm trusting you. Yeah, every time I go over this bridge, it's raining at some point. the left on I 75 north. Looks like that big storm is just off to our east, though. Either that or it moved away pretty quickly. I guess it was cheaper just to build another section of bridge on top of the previous section instead of building like a twin bridge for both directions of traffic. It takes up less space too, I'm guessing.
drive right into me. What's wrong with people? Whoops! There's a car beside me who's trying to cut in between me and that gray car yet. Just about hit my fender there on the right. I don't know if the camera picked that up or not. People are just desperate. They have to, have to be in front of the big truck. They don't want to go behind the truck. And they will rip their bumper off along with mine just to get in front. That's how badly they want to be in front of me. <laughs> 